This is the, the, the first time that we've seen you since you received death threats mm. for this picture that you posted while you were away in, in enjoying your holidays. Um, tell us in your own words what happened, Zyra. So, um, I'm on holiday with my family and um, there was a story about um, a Muslim convert who was a preacher in Australia. She'd come out saying that um, plucking your eyebrows if you're a Muslim woman is a sin. So I kind of, you know, just sort of left it, really. And then I got a phone call, bearing in mind, if anybody here has their eyebrows threaded, it's a big Asian thing, mm. OK? Eyebrows. We all do. I spend we most all of my life plucking my chin. A lot of the girls... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the girls in the industry are Muslim, they're Hindu, yeah, yeah. they're of the Asian culture. I received a phone call from um, a, a girl, a, a lady, saying, Syrah, this woman's come out and said this. I am a Muslim. My husband's now saying to me that I can't work in this salon because he sees it's against my religion. Now, I could not believe what, what mm. I was hearing. And I was just so angry that here was a woman, of all the things you can preach that's going on mm. in the name of our religion, she chooses eyebrows and actually makes women feel bad about themselves. It's a sin, she said. Mm. So I posted that in defiance, saying, you know, this is, you are a prehistoric dinosaur for coming out with things like this. Mm. Seriously. With everything that's been said. I then put, posted that picture, and honestly, Andrea, I have to tell you, I've said a lot of things against and spoken up against extremism. Yeah. The things that I received as a result of that image, me being, you know, posted up, imagine the worst vile comments I received them. Mm. And amongst there was a death threat. I, I mean, a death threat for me calling somebody a prehistoric dinosaur. I mean, what kind of world are we living in? This is 2017. This is Britain, OK? Mm. My husband pulled me to one side and said, Syra, look, you've got two children. You don't know what nutters are out there. You can't speak about this. Just let it go. And, and he was so concerned that I just thought, do you know what, Steve? You're right, but I can't not speak up. No, because no. the only image people will have of Muslim women in this world is those extremists. And I want people to know that I am a Muslim woman. I want to wear a bikini. I wear it with pride. I will pluck my eyebrows. Killing other people in the name of religion is a sin. Not plucking your eyebrows. <laughs> it's interesting that... You know, as, a, as, a, as your husband, I totally understand Steve's reaction, saying maybe you should keep quiet on this, but a, a quote that always springs, springs to my mind when we all think maybe we should just say nothing. Um, <laughs> I, I, got, I got it Googled just to, to make sure it's the right one. This is, uh, it's, a, it's a quote that you might kind of randomly know it but not quite be able to put your finger on it. It's this, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men should do nothing. And just think about that. If we all just sat and said nothing, actually, terrible things would happen. And, and you are incredibly brave for actually putting your money where your mouth I is. I really appreciate you saying that I'm brave, but I don't feel brave. I think it's so wrong and weird for me to feel brave just to say... To call somebody a dinosaur. Mm. That's not brave. We should all be allowed to say something, yeah. like, something like that. But you know what really saddens me? And this is the point I want to end on. My family came here, my mum and dad, with nothing in their pockets. They came in the 60s. I was born in the 70s. My generation of people went through the National Front. We went through, you know, the BNP. We had skinheads writing names. That generation put their head down. They were grateful to be in this country. They were grateful to get a job. And they wanted their kids to be educated and enjoy all the freedoms of this country. What I find sad is that there are people of my colour, of my religion, now giving me death threats. Fourth, fifth generation on, that's the sad thing. Yeah. And I think that's a disgrace. And that's not why my parents came to this country in the first place. And I think we all have to really stand up. Mm -hmm. And I will not keep my mouth shut shut. If somebody says to me, you can't pluck your eyebrows, I will call them a prehistoric dinosaur and I've said it on national telly. <laughs>